you know, people that used to be BIM managers or BIM engineers became VDNC managers or VDNC engineers. What is the difference? Um, can you tell us a little bit more about the VDC and BIM career and learned lessons that you have, like major lessons maybe? Yeah, so in, in the United States, at least, it's, it's fairly new. Um, you know, VDNC has only been around some, well, I've only noticed VDNC being around for the past, you know, five years. Before that, it was all BIM. So, you know, virtual design and construction kind of came about five years ago. I don't, I don't really know what the impetus was, but that, that the, you know, people that used to be BIM managers or BIM engineers became VDNC managers or VDNC engineers. What is the difference? Yeah, so, so building information modeling, right, is the, is the technique. Or not the technique, but it's it's the the system or the 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 methodology, you know, of creating a three D three D model with with information associated with it. Um, virtual design and construction, you know, to me, I feel like is more about using the BIM methodology to solve construction specific problems. Um, so, so like it's the, the same the, thing. The, yeah, it seems like the same thing. So uh, <laughs> I don't know how to describe the difference. All I know uh, is that the, nom the nomenclature has, has changed and the perception has changed because because when when things when things were just BIM BIM coordination, it was just taking everybody's model, running clash detection, creating clash detection reports, moving model elements, and that that was kind of the perception in the industry before was that that was all that was all you could do with BIM and modeling. But now it's more of we can actually use models to build projects, and I think that that's why they the nomenclature has changed. Like it's, it's virtual design and construction. Like we're going to actually build from this model, not just play around with it and do clash detection. Not that that's not important, but clash detection is only one aspect of using BIM. Um, so. <laughs> My, my my observation on that actually is a little different. First, I find VDC a little more fancy in comparison to BIM Manager. And second thing, I think VDC is a little interesting because other people, like when you say BIM, they say, what is BIM? Then you say building information modeling. They say, what is building information modeling? Then you explain the theory behind it, that it is like there are tools, processes, and uh, policies involved. So like standards and the way you approach and the uh, like different... Uh, technology you are using but virtual design and construction when you say i never heard like a response what is it they are understanding okay you are rather than doing it in a like a um, traditional means you're trying to do it in the digital like virtual way and trying to do like taking your all your traditional workflows into digitally so it doesn't necessarily me mean that you use BIM altering tools uh, it could mean that you use autocad but just in a, in a digital environment so basically um in a more collaborative environment. So um, that is, I think, the I like the bit uh, on that part, like it's being fancy on one side and giving a little more clarification in comparison to BIM. Um, but apart yeah, from the other side- It's really about clarification, yeah. I agree with you, yeah. Be because my, like- my, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. My definition isn't that great, so I like what you said. I mean, I, I read. Um, uh, I don't. I read in one book. Uh, uh, I think it was written by Holzer, um, uh, the the BIM manager. The book calls the BIM manager, and it was like first page was saying, um, "I'm uh, I'm uh, like." I don't know exactly the quote, so but I will just try to say it. Uh, I'm writing this book um, to uh, to my architect wife who doesn't know what BIM is, you know, like <laughs> so explaining like the BIM is very difficult to explain. But yeah, so uh, it's great that um, that we under like try to find different variations. But can you tell me a little lessons learned in the industry, like in your career, what lessons you learned um, specifically that impacted your career? Yeah, so I I think. From, from a BIM and VDNC perspective, um, I, I think there's too few BIM managers and VDNC managers that understand or that want to understand construction, like how these things are actually built. But I think that that really enhances your ability to manage a project digitally. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so I, I think I think one of my one of my major lessons learned, and and maybe this is because I came from originally came from the construction industry, so I was 
you know, my career started off in the field as a carpenter, but then, you know, I transitioned into to BIM, uh, obediency. Um, so, you know, I, I would say there needs to be, there, there needs to be less of a focus on, because, you know, you, you go to, you go to conferences every year or you follow forums or, or online publications that, that cover BIM and BDNC. And a lot of the time it's talking about the, the greatest and latest breathtaking technology that's being introduced, right? Which is, which is wonderful. I'm all for, I'm all for advancement in technology and software and hardware. But if you if you don't understand why we're using the software, then it, it really becomes like AR, for example, augmented reality. I've seen that marketed up, down, and sideways to architects. But the feedback that I always hear from architects is we don't we don't need augmented reality because our models never look as good as our renderings or, or as our you know as our as our presentation graphics, whatever. Augmented reality is more useful for the person. Like a like a construction manager who who wants to make sure that everything's fitting up in the in the MEP raceway in a in a building or or the underground pipe is being laid correctly according to what's been modeled. So, um, so sometimes there's a disconnect between the technologies that are being developed and what what they're being developed for. And so I think, um, at, you know, working with virtual design and construction, it's important to understand what people what, what people are getting out of the model, you know, what, what's the end result, who are the end users and what are they looking for? Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's one of my biggest lessons there is just not to get sidetracked by take, you know, using technology for technology's sake, you know, we need to know how to use technology to actually provide value on a building project, not just to use technology, just to use it. It's it's very uh, very well said because um and I think one of the main things that industry needs to understand that if you want to be a VDC manager or BIM manager it, like I think the, as a theory they are quite the same thing so um but in the end of the day if you want to be uh, going in the management role or try to do something more than technical modeling you need to understand a few things first of all you need to understand um the soft skills you need to understand what really the the core principles of BIM and you need to really be motivated with them before because if you are not motivated yourself how can you drive the entire team or people and so forth Secondly, you need to be a little bit more adaptive. So you need to find uh, innovative solutions uh, because uh, you can know how to use a tool. You can know the soft skills, but if you cannot connect them analytically in your mind, you will not find a solution. You don't know, okay, do I use sweep here or revolve here? How do I solve this? You will not find it. You know how to use sweep, you know how to revolve, but you will not know how to solve that problem. So, and industry is paying you for solving problems. So that's the truth. You know, they say right. they, they are literally paying you to solve the problems. The more problems you solve, the more wealth you will get. So um, in order to solve the problems, you need to understand the construction, like Joshua said, you need to understand the soft skill of BIM and um, the virtual design construction, basically, as, as we just said, the theories. And you will need to understand the technical aspect, the authoring tools, and to get advanced diving deeper to core functionalities. Actually, when I say core functionalities, it's not the essentials or the basics, but diving deeper in understanding how the code works, how the software kind of thinks when you uh, send in information to the software so you can solve um, and create innovative ideas. 